I think the huge focus today was obviously a early stage or non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. We have a lot of abstracts to go through, but why don't we level set for our listeners and viewers? And maybe you can just uh, take us through what we mean by high risk, non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. What does that mean? And then we can walk through how we uh, would standardly treat these. Yeah. So let's like sort of set the context as it were. New diagnosis, bladder cancer, the vast majority are non-muscle invasive disease that is superficial, either in the lining or connective tissue within the bladder before it gets to the muscle layer. Predominantly these days in the context of the urologist for care. We're going to see in, in our discussion a role for multidisciplinary care, but right now this is a really a urologist-driven disease space. And so just to sort of think about this, not every patient with non-muscle invasive bladder cancer has the same sort of oncologic risk. And we think about things like the grade, the stage, multifocality, and size to help us sort of characterize the, the aggressiveness of a patient. So we break it down into low, intermediate, and high-risk disease. The vast majority of the data we're going to talk about really focuses on that high-risk disease subset. So here we're really talking about anyone with T1 disease. So that's invasion into lamina propria underlying that initial mucosa of the bladder. We're looking at people with high-grade histologies. We're looking at any CIS. <laughs> <laughs>